Hey guys, in today's video, we'll cover the process of creating another product design. Remember that our playlist with the models already created is in the card above. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So let's go to class. Let's start by creating a plan to add our reference. The download link is in the video description. Let's start with rectangle, surround the entire model. Again, with the rectangle, we create the display part. Now, with the circle, we will create the bottoms. I will create just what created copies by holding down Shift K. We adjust it following the reference. We will create more copies downwards, creating all the bottles. Let's position the circles correctly. Again, using the circle, we will create the slider. This time, we will change the interpolation to 8. Finally, with the rectangle, we will create the last button of the model. I'm going to add an edit spline, convert the vertices to corner, and apply affiliates to around the corners. Weld the points with the weld. Let's do the same with the other rectangles to round the edge. Now, with the attach, we are going to join all the pieces and cover them to editable poly. I'm going to position the reference a little bit back and apply a shell to give thickness to our piece. I'm going to create a copy, and in this copy we are going to select all the ads and apply a great shape so that we have the lines again. I'm going to convert them to editable poly and change the color to make it easy to see. We are going to add a shell to give thickness. I'm going to reduce the back a little bit. Let's select the main contour line of the model to create the back of the object. We are going to delete these lines and cover them to editable poly. I'm going to apply a shell with a value of 2 and align it with the back facing using the vertex snap. Reduce the thickness to just one and cover it again. Now I'm going to delete this face on this part. Let's do the same on the other part and then join in with the attach. We'll select the edge of both and return to the vertex mode with the control key press. Apply a weld to weld the vertices. We can remove these lines. Once it is done, let's improve the model's bottom. 
I'm going to select the face of these buttons, hold down control and again this time we go to the edge mode. We apply a chamfer to around the edge. On this button, we are going to insert a line in the center. Apply a chamfer again. And then extrude to create this detail on the button. I'm going to select this face and apply an all smooth to smoothing this face. Now let's create this last button. With the scale holding down the shift, we create these loops and then extrude to create the slider. We round the Zs with the chamfer. I'm going to remove the Zs and increase the size of this base with the scale. We also rounded the base. Let's do the same on the display. Now let's connect some points with the edge connect. This is necessary because we are going to apply a chamfer to the edges of the holes. Once that is done, we will select only the edges of the holes. We apply a chamfer and then with weight normals to correct the model's normals. We also apply it to this back part. Here, we add a loop on the side of the part. With the rectangle, we will create this model's USB input. We align it with the parts, then add an edit spline Convert the edges to the corners and apply a fillet to around the corners. We will join the face with the welds and position them correctly on the model. We convert it to editable poly and apply a shell to give it thickness. We will adjust its position and scale. Let's go back to the model and convert it. We add a boolean modifier and go to subtract option and select the other piece. We convert it to editable poly again. And apply a chamfer to round the edges. I'm going to connect the central line with the vertex connect, and with the line selected, we go to create shape. We are going to adjust its size and then add thickness to the lines, creating the detail of the interior of the Type C door. To finish, we apply a chamfer and the weight normals.
let's return to the buttons and position them a little forward as in your reference. We are going to leave the display a little inward. And go back to the model, we are going to create a notch on these ads. Just select it and apply a chamfer. I'm going to connect this line on the end of the face with the cut. Once it is done, we will apply an extrude to the middle line and apply an out smooth to this new face. Finally, we will change the display color to finish the front of the model. Now, let's work on the back part. Let's create a circle and position it on the ends of the part. Let's cover it to editable poly and apply on symmetry to spread the shape. I will center the pivot on the part and then use alignment to align with the part. We improve the positioning of the parts and apply on symmetry again. Once it is done, we apply a shell to give thickness to the part. Now, with the model selected, we use Boolean with the Subtract option to create the holes. Let's cover it to editable poly and then do the same thing we did on the front. Let's connect some vertices to apply a chamfer to the edges of the holes. Let's keep in the selection only on the edges and apply the chamfer. Now, let's create the screws. To do this, I'm going to select the edges so that we have the ideal size for the screw. Using the rectangle, we are going to create a shape. I'm going to separate this line with the detach and align this, the rectangle with the circle. Holding down Shift K, we are going to create a copy, cover it to editable poly and attach it with the other rectangle. We are going to align it again and convert the circle. We are going to use the shell on both parts and create the cuts with the boolean K. Now we convert it to editable poly and adjust the mesh creating new connections. We are going to select this interface so that we have the selection of the ads and apply a chamfer to smooth in the ads. I'm going to add some support loops and then wait no more. I'm going to change the color of the parts. We don't need the lines anymore. We're going to delete them. With the symmetry, I'm going to mirror the screw on the Y axis and then on the X axis. I'm going to select the correct position on the X axis and apply it to the part. Finally, we will adjust the position of this Type-C connector on the model. And we will create a cable just to better compose your model. 
while we create the piece, I have a message for you. In our community tab, we have a pool about a new series of tutorial on the channel. I ask that you go there and leave your opinion what type of model we should create in the new series of videos. Remember that if you have any other suggestions, you can leave them here in the comments of this video. And that's it, our model is finished. I hope you enjoyed the content, see you next time, bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.